okay dear students so i have got this question on discord so let us see what is there in this uh, particular question okay there is the question and this is my screen now okay so let us read the question now two power supplies one of a constant emf that is 24 volt here and the other of a variable emf here are connected to two resistances as shown one is 9 ohm another is 3 ohm both power supplies have negligible internal resistances what is the magnitude of p for the reading of the ammeter to be zero so we need uh, this reading to become zero for this ammeter so reading is coming out to be zero it means that there should be no current that is entering into this branch so all the current that is coming here has to pass through this it will pass like this and like this so no current is entering into this branch so no current is entering into this branch so you need to find the emf of this like how much should be the battery so that the current comes out to be equal to zero so uh, there are two methods first method is like we apply the kirchhoff's law to the two loops and then we just uh, uh, substitute this current is equal to zero and from there we can find the value of the voltage v or the otherwise what we can do is we just imagine that this circuit is actually disconnected and now the current is passing like this only there's only one circuit in working so what will happen is we find let us say this point is x and this point is y so what i do is uh, i will find the potential difference across x and y this emf will be equal and opposite to the x and y for example this x is higher and the current would be moving downwards so it will be acting in the same way like it would be opposite to it so that the current should not enter into it but in magnitude that will be absolutely same so let us uh, apply this method first of all so i am calling this method number two and if uh, method number one if time permits we will go for kirchhoff's law also so uh, so if I say this, so what is the current that is coming? Current will be V divided by R equivalent and V in this case is 24 volt and that the current is passing like this only. So this battery will not be used. So 9 plus 3 is 12 ohm is the resistance. So 2 ampere is the current that is going to move in this circuit. So my question is, what is the potential difference across 3 ohm? so v across the 3 ohm will be v is equal to i r i is 2 and this is 3 so it is 6 volt so it means this battery should be equal and opposite to that so the potential difference between point x and y is 6 volt and if i apply another battery which is equal to it like 6 volt in opposite manner obviously the current will not be able to enter into this branch isn't it so your answer will be 6 volt that is v on contrary, if I talk about uh, method number one that I earlier discussed, but now I'm calling it method number two, uh, applying the Kirchhoff's law. So how the Kirchhoff's law is now applied here. So let us say the current in this branch is I1 and it goes like this. And from here, the I2 current is moving. So from here, the current is I1 plus I2. So this is again I1 and I2 goes like this. So now I am applying the Kirchhoff's law here. So first of all, this loop, so I will be a little quicker. So for this loop, it will be 24 minus 9i1 minus 3 into i1 plus i2. So this will come out to be equal to 0. And for this second loop, because we are moving like this and we imagine it to be v, it will be v minus 3i1 plus i2 and that is coming out to be equal to 0. So, from both of this, I am now substituting this I2 as equal to 0. So, this will be 0. So, my first equation will become 24 minus 12I1 is equal to 0. From here, I1 is coming out to be 2 ampere and I substitute this value in the second equation. So, V is equal to 3 into I1 means 3 into 2 that is 6 volt. Okay, dear students, so this is Professor Varun and I have tried to explain two different methods for this question. All the best.